I think we give Lady Vash another shot. I feel like we had a really good setup for her, but I think we could maybe do something with her again. Are you ready? A 1-4 ain't too shabby, though. Nor are the Quillbores. I don't know, maybe you just always... I, I always liked picking up Sunbake and Relaxer here. Sure. Maybe I'll take some damage. Where do I do that? Don't tell the others. Oh, right here. Oh, cool. Cool. Thank you. I did not know that. It says it at the top when you pick your heroes, but I didn't I never knew that you could check it during the game. By looking at this little stack of cards here. Well, okay, this is a sixth player game. So This could be an easier one. We could have had a triple of Wrath Weaver this time. Yeah, I knew there were no beasts or uh, dragons or murloc or undead or whatever, but... Uh, yeah, it's still cool that you could check it out here. We could look at both mechs and Quillbore are available. So maybe I won't want to try to play Naga. I've also done some fun stuff with demons. I feel like mechs are the most powerful thing. Thing. I could be wrong, though. Yet. I think Quillbore could also be really powerful if you hit the right stuff. I elected to take basically four damage for two blood gems. Uh, more than that. Five damage for two blood gems. Yeah, she sells seashells. Oh, it's okay. That's very fun. So, Lava Lurker is definitely one thing that I would like. And we could immediately pick up Lava Lurker plus Reef Rifter to have a nice little start to this game. Snail Calvary, not bad, though I don't think we'd grab it this turn. So I think here I just grab these two. I think this is a really strong start to pass up on. And I might even just give this... Yeah, I think we can make a nice little minion out of this, so gotta go for it, right? That's pretty nice. And then next turn, we're looking to just level and buy something. So we could lock on to the Snail Calvary, right? Yeah, gotta go. Gotta go for the 6-9 there. That smacks now, either way. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. The Blood Gems did indeed grab me a win there, too. See anything else? Not really. None of this is super impressive. Oh, I also forgot what turn it is. This is a turn where we just buy two things. So I guess I'll grab a pair of Leapers. I also could have leveled and used my Relics. See if anyone went Naga. So mixed minions, elemental. I think it's going to be tough to see if anybody's Naga right away, just because these first few turns, you're really just playing whatever you have. But like even this board, I mean, it would technically read as Naga this turn, but next turn it'll read as mixed minions again, because we'll have two mechs and two Naga. So I think this might be a little bit soon to tell, but that is definitely something I could pay attention to more is scouting the rest of the lobby and seeing, like, what's open. That could have been a mistake uh, from our game a little bit earlier. I do think this is a pretty fantastic Don't start, though. Next turn, we get to level and make this an 11-14. That's pretty good, too. We will grab the win for now, so that's also fun. So probably just want the shell collector. Is this seashells? She sells seashells? Let's see. She sells seashells. There we go. Made it happen. 1114. 
Could exchange the coin for a hero power tap. Though I think this tap gets better at level 4 once we're crooning, so I might just try to hit 4 as soon as possible. Try to find a crooner. Yeah, next turn we could level to 4 and then immediately use relics. I'll have 8 mana, this will cost 7. <laughs> Now we're definitely in Naga. Yeah, I think I'll level up and tap next turn. I think that we're in a good enough spot here. We're going to try to play a little bit more aggressively, and if we can find a crooner early, I think that's going to be great for us. This opponent's pretty strong. Oh, but that's a really good attack to pop the tiny bubble there. That's a win. We find a Zesty Shaker immediately. We could go for a Prince of the Dance just to roll more. I don't hate that. Let's not play it yet, though. Let's do one roll for coin. Wow, and we find the Soul Rewinder, though. You're down a minion and up a go. It's good to get some minions in play. So now we get two free rolls a turn. Could buy Metal Tooth Leaper next turn. Just keep shaking. Huh. This might be good just for the triple. This will cost six and we'll have nine. Could even use it to find a level five character, but I think I want to find the crooner. Yeah, pretty good turn. I don't know, do we lock Leaper? Feels like maybe we do. No, I'm actually not gonna lock. I think you can win this thing. Because we have two free rolls next turn that I think I wanna just make use of by rolling while I'm level four. I think that that makes sense as well. You get two gold back. I don't know what that means. Well, now I kind of want to triple the Soul Rewinder. Uh, do you think it was the Shell Collector? Yeah, it's just the, the it was the Leaper. And this, this is a pretty good thing to triple. And we could still find Zesty Shakers right now this turn. I'm not going to level it. I'm going to look for a crooner here. We don't find it, but this is a combo. Hold up a minute. This is a real combo. My quest begins here. Now we find another Leaper. I'll just roll one last time. Uh, sell this. Sell this. Buy the monkey. Play it. Look for Crooner. I want to play that. You're down a minion and up a goal. Okay. Whew. I don't know if I'll wind up doing anything with the Prickly Piper, but it is a really good card to pick up early, I feel. So maybe we could wind up moving into that, but for right now, we've got a really good combo with Soul Rewinder and the Golden Monkey. 
That's a lot of fun. Uh, so the guy that I just played has Death Rattle, give your blood gems, plus one attack for the rest of the game. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. This has Battle Cry, your blood gems, give an extra one health. Both of these things are just, like, really strong to use. And I feel like you should grab them whenever you see them, even if you're not going Quillbore currently. I'm going to skip on this, though, for now. This is, like, passive. We get to always make use of it. And I think I'm going to roll a little bit for Crooner. All right, I will pick up another Lava Lurker. And let's grab a Relics here. And I think I should go for Deep Blues. Because I think that ultimately that's going to matter more. I should be casting the... Um, uh, maybe I should have cast the Deep Blues on the Zesty Shaker as well. I just kind of forgot about the Zesty Shaker, to be honest. I'll see if I can rectify that in future turns, but... Now we've got a lot of chances to roll for Crooner, or we could maybe just roll... If we find, like, more Prickly Pipers, then maybe I will just default back into Quillbore. Do we have another Quillbore player here? Everyone's gunning for you. And we've got Watch another out. Naga player. So what's this Naga player doing? They have found some crooners. So that could be a reason to not play crooner. Like you were saying. We are going to be able to beat them here. But still, competition is not ideal because all the crooners are gone. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. So Banner Boar could be interesting, but... Go ahead and hire one of yeah, I think I might go into Prickly Piper. That's what one I more roll and we get a Golden Monkey. Um, I don't think the Ninja does that much for the crooner. Grab a level 6 character this turn. That's pretty fun. Let's actually, yeah, just get rid of this. I think I'm going to get rid of this, too. This is fun. I never know if this is right in this game. We could have just kept Baron. Discover a Naga. Hold on a second. Oh, that's really great. Pashmar, I think, is the one that you want to give stealth to. Alright, I ran out of time here. I did see another Lava Lurker. Uh, Elise is going to be active in a second. We still have this as a combo. I think that this turn was certainly a little bit loose. Um, I just kind of wasted a bunch of my time, but... I don't think it hurts me that badly. Oh, I do take a little bit of extra damage from the Microbots, but... I think that the important thing here... Like, we have enough health, and discovering a Naga each turn think is going to be really, really good. You, you... So let's start with the double roll. We find double Lava Lurker and Golden Monkey. So let's start to grab some of these things. The lava flows and I flow with it. Divine Shield. This is pretty good with my hero power, isn't it? What have I Might cycle through these. Just for econ. Let's grab another tier 5. We did lose last combat. Alright, 
Alright, another Lava Lurker. Let's grab this. Permanent Deep Blues are awkward. I'm just gonna cast it there. Oh, wow. Okay. Like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. It's good to get some minions in play. Okay, I think this is really good now. So now we're in the top four. We've got 24 health. We just have to not die immediately. But then I think I'm gonna sell off this combo, and I think we'll have a lot of power to go into the corrupted plan. We basically just put our relics on the Myrmidon every turn. And then we put Deep Blues on Lava Lurker. Not sure that I'm going to use the extra Lava Lurkers, but they could be nice to have. And we grab a win. Yeah, another really good turn. We also have a Golden Monkey, so let's roll twice, use the Golden Monkey... Yes. Yeah, we're definitely going to buff this. That's where my hero power is going to go every turn. Roll. Roll. I could have grabbed one of those, but I want the deep blues to go there. All right, let's play the monkey. Look for another Myrmidon. Cool. Let's see what we grab here. More deep blues. Permanent deep blues, even. And another deep blue. That is great. So... Let's play this. I want more deep blues, I think. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here. That's fantastic. Those are all permanent stats. Alright, I'll grab another Zesty. And I just want another triple for Lava Lurker. Great. Oh, you're moving up in the world. I will probably replace the Soul Rewinder soon. I'm going to lock this. That's going to be pretty good. And I'm going to hope to find another Corrupted Myrmidon off the Lava Lurker. I'll keep in the Soul Rewinder for now, float the coin into the next turn. This is definitely looking good. And the fact that like when you stay on level 4, you've got more chances to find more Deep Blue Kurnor coroners or zesty shakers if we can triple the zesty shaker next turn that's also fantastic so Have you ever met the we've got a lot of potential nice folks. we could even level to try to find the myrmidon off the orgoza orgozoa the faux reaper's big so that's annoying we're gonna take some damage here hopefully not lethal damage but we're definitely taking some damage. One, two, six, seven. It's a lot. It's a lot. 20 down to four. We've already top four, so that's technically a win, and technically you do have to follow, but we'll see if we can break into the top three. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna see if this gives me Myrmidon. Sell through this. I'll give you a good price. Hmm. I'm gonna discover a Naga first. She, she sells, sells seashells. seashells. Let's see if we can find Myrmidon. <laughs> Insane. What have I become?
ahead and hire one of these recruits. You're doing great out there. Okay, okay. So this gets tripled up to 60. It's not terrible. On the final turn of the game, I think I just cast all of my spells there. But the finals is going to be a few battles. I'm not going to take this opponent out immediately in the finals here. It's going to take a few combats. This will put me into the top two, though. I would love to hit a deep blue off of these relics or triple the zesty shaker. Either of those things are really big. All right, we'll just grab this. I'm going to throw that here. Discover a Naga, looking for a zesty shaker. Not going to find it. So let's put taunt on a lava lurker, probably. Still really just want Zesty Shaker. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. I might also look to add some scam to the board. I don't know if there is any scam in the minion types that are available this game though. This is scam. Uh but Oh, I can give it taunt, so it has venomous. Uh, I might toss a Zesty Shaker to do that. Seems reasonable. I don't like that I had to give it Taunt of all of the different spell options, but this gets to go huge, and hopefully that's enough. My opponent's also pretty big and doing some fun stuff themselves. They're just going to trade here with Leroy. It's about all that we could really ask for. And they've got a lot of Taunt. Yeah, looks like this is going to be a second place finish. Still a pretty good game, though, I think. Uh, but I don't think the Corrupted Myrmidon is going to... Actually, wait a minute. No, this could work. Okay, this is a win. This is a win. And we hit them for 10 down to 9. I believe. I believe. You're good at this. Another crooner's really good. Thank you very much, Hotrin. Let's grab this. So now on the final turn, I sell out of Crooner as well. This removes Taunt. No, I didn't win just yet. I did not win just yet. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. This removes all of their divine shields, which seems pretty good. A good tactical choice. That's really good. It's permanent as well. Wham. Bam. Sure. Permanent. Huge stats. Play this. Roll. I can sell this. This has poisonous, so that's good enough. And I'm just going to roll down. Oh, I should have locked a crooner. Oh well. Hopefully this is enough. 86 tripled. Hopefully we'll get her done. We're going to pop all their divine shields. 250. That's pretty dang good, I think. We killed their big taunter. We killed their Leroy, too, with that play. That's pretty good. I think this was enough to do it. It's just going to come down to battling through Kangor. 
We Venomous into their Divine Shield. That's not great. What does Kangor hold? Okay, it holds a, a Fell Faux Reaper, but that's not going to be enough. That's a win, baby. There we go. Just needed a little bit of encouragement, but we did, in fact, find the first place finish. I thought this guy would be good with Crooner, and eventually it was. We did get pretty lucky finding those Myrmidons, but we were indeed able to take it home. That's going to be it for me today. If you were watching this on YouTube after the fact, you can also watch me live on YouTube or on Twitch. If you're watching on Twitch, I am going to keep streaming. I'm just going to switch to Marvel Snap. But for today, again, if you're watching on YouTube, that's it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm no luck, Skiffin. Peace.